I don't care what people say about Jack Daniels. They're around for a reason. Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers, to another episode of Whiskey Quest and another review of Jack Daniels. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Antonio, and in this channel, I like to try whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. So, if you're curious about whiskey, you want to learn more about whiskey, just in general, you love whiskey, consider hitting that subscribe button right now with the bell notification. Stick around for more videos. Let's move on with the review. But before we do, got to give a quick shout out to the Whiskey Dude. The Whiskey Dude is the man behind all these whiskey samples right here, as you guys may already know. And again, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, please do. See if you like him, give him a sub. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Go check him out. Now let's move on with this week's whiskey review of Jack Daniels Master Distiller Series number three. So again, all these whiskeys are bottled at 43% ABV and they're a limited edition. These were running around 30 to $40 mark, normal price. Right now, number one, two, and three for sure are in the secondary market if you can find them, but I would stay away from those prices. You know, it's not really worth, you're not gonna make money off of this and I don't know why you would wanna pay extra for something that wasn't supposed to be 80. 70, 90, 100 dollars. But before we get into the tasting, we gotta talk a little bit about the history behind each one of these, right? So number three is dedicated to the master distiller Lemuel Lem. And this one celebrates the third master distiller. His name was Lemuel Lem Tolly, and he was the grandnephew of Jack Daniels. Now Lem took the title as master distiller during the World War II era. So Again, <laughs> not a good time to be in business for, for anybody or just, just bad times in general. So because supplies were of a shortage during that time, Jack Daniels was a little bit of a rarity. So the people that enjoyed sipping on it uh, really had a hard time finding it. And we all know what happens when whiskey is hard to find. Demand rises. So even though it was a bit rare to find Jack Daniels, you could still find it. And around 1944, at the peak of World War II, is when things just really got bad. And they had to shut down the distillery for the second time in its history. Lem is still the master distiller, and a special someone got introduced to Jack for the very first time. That special someone's name was Frank Sinatra. That's right, the man behind this label, the old number seven. That guy loved it so much that he carried a bottle everywhere that he went he was on stage backstage on his private jet you name it he had a bottle of jack even when he passed away and they buried him with a bottle of jack in his jacket wow now keep in mind up until 1987 uh regular old number seven was bottled at 90 proof and we already seen that just at 43 percent abv three percent more than the regular jack that we have nowadays adds a little bit more flavor so at 90 proof i'm sure it was way better all right so let's move on to the review of today's review of jack daniels series number three the color right here is the same as the other ones just this nice caramel jack daniels kind of color and on the nose that awesome banana note that i love still that varnishy kind of smell oaky some cinnamon not much different from the other ones but just to make sure i got series number two series number one yep wow i'm getting a little bit more citrus off the number one than these other two very interesting huh again i'm wondering if it's because you know a little bit more air is coming into this bottle than these other ones Yeah, I'm not really getting orange on those. Well, there's a slight difference again, like I said. So, let's move on to the tasting, everybody. Cheers. I don't care what people say about Jack Daniels. 
they're around for a reason. All right, I get a nice candied kind of kind of taste. Okay, I'm getting that orange citrus on the palate this time. Nice cinnamon spice developing that wood char coming through. Really nothing different from the other two, at least like, like this. So let me try these other ones on the palette and see if there's something different. That is so weird. A little bit more cinnamon spice on this one versus number three. But everything else is still there. That burnt brown sugar. It's also there. Number one. less cinnamon spice than these other ones and more of that barrel char kind of flavor i'm getting a little bit of mint now that i inhaled there for a little bit minty freshness it's so weird how it's exactly the same recipe it's old number seven just bottled at three percent more abv now, I've been talking to the whiskey dude and, and, you know, we're thinking that, yeah, it's regular old number seven recipe, but maybe they're picking these from a different part of the warehouse or maybe they're, I don't know. I don't know, but they are slightly different. So, but then again, who, who buys two bottles of Jack Daniels old number seven and compare them head to head to see if they're different, right? So... Again, if you try these individually and not side to side, you would not tell the difference that there's, you know, this one has a little bit more cinnamon or there's more orange uh, citrus on this one uh, because they are very, very close to e each other in taste and smell. It's only when you compare them that you can tell those slight differences. So, having said that, my geekiness inside is telling me to add a drop of water to each one of them because you'll never know unless you try it. So let's see what happens with a little bit of water. Ah, more oakiness right away. And it's so weird again. I'm getting a lot more oak on this one when this one right here. They're still getting that same amount of oak, but there's some honey. I don't get honey on this, really. More oak. Huh. Same thing on this one. More oak. It is interesting, indeed. Yeah, just everything's the same. Just a little bit more honey coming off of number two. All right, palette. Yeah, there's that chocolatey note that I talked about in the last video. That banana covered chocolate, uh, chocolate covered banana. Yeah, the, that barrel char, a little bit more pronounced, oaky, like more oak. Very interesting. Yeah, more cinnamon with water. Then this one over here. And then there's that brown brown sugar, maybe like a there's some vanilla also in there. Like a creamy vanilla. Wow. Yeah, less cinnamon is still there. But I'm getting that creaminess also off of those two. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, that orange zest developing a little bit more. But they all have that nice barrel char, brown sugar kind of thing going on. Interesting. Yeah. Again, same recipe, but they are slightly different. Very, very cool. I can't wait to try number four. All right, Whiskey Questers, that's it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, very slight differences on these. So... My final thoughts on, on this whiskey right here is that, yeah, you know, if you happen to find any of these 
at a store at regular retail value uh, and you like Jack Daniels definitely pick one up for a three percent more ABV now do you have to collect all of them I don't know that's all up to you guys if you want to do something like compare them side to side but uh, I'd say one bottle would be more than enough the only thing I have to say is don't go ahead and pay them secondary prices all right whiskey questers thanks for coming along on another whiskey quest right here with another jack daniels review even if you don't like jack daniels i appreciate you stopping by and supporting the channel again i'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so i can finally drink that dusty freaking bottle right there <laughs> that's uh, a bottle that my brother brought from ireland it's the uh, jameson uh, distillery edition and I said I wasn't going to open it till I reached a thousand subscribers, go live, drink that live with, uh, you know, I'll invite my brother, assuming that the quarantine's over. So again, you guys enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends. Don't forget to drop me a comment below. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. See you guys in the next one. Peace.